that is the micro kit uh, test for the uh, microbial contamination. Keep in mind that this isn't any replacement for a professional total count or a challenge test. Our uh, compact dry uh, kits come in, in kind of uh, aluminum uh, pack. There are few uh, such discs in the, in the pack, but when you open the pack, you need to consume it rather fast. You have to seal it, close it, protect the, the discs from the light and oxygen. And if you, when you open the, the seal, you need to rather uh, consume uh, the four plates rather fast. So gather your products and uh, measure uh, four tests uh, together so that you can have the best out of your compact dry um, discs. They come with uh, these uh, sterile swabs that helps you uh, gather the sample without any contaminating. And I, I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm first breaking two of my compact rice. Uh, to know what is what, you need a pen, and at this part, at this side, you can uh, write down the name or the number of your sample, and it is easily to, to follow up uh, which sample you have tested. The swaps have a, an orange part, uh, side and a colorless side. So you open the, the orange side first, This is the swap, and then put the head into your sample and collect the sample. Then bring it back into the container, close it, shake it for a while so that it blends with the liquid that it is in the compartment, and then you open the disc open the screw cap this is the colorless one and then press here and distribute the liquid on the disc so that it covers all of the disc shake it a little bit and then you need to this is our total count compact dry and this needs to be incubated uh, around 35 degrees for 48 hours if the sample is not contaminated which hopefully is the case you will have a clear disc with nothing on it Unfortunately, I have no contaminated disc at the moment to show you, but if the sample is contaminated, obviously you see that colonies are, uh, are there. But uh, I hope that you will never see such nasties on your com compact dry discs and in your uh, formulations.